What's going on, everyone? It's the LEGO Detective, and today I'm going to be reviewing another Mega Constructs Halo set. And today, it is going to be the Veritas Drop Pod. And when I saw this in the store, the color really, really popped, and I just really wanted to get it. And I did purchase this around the same time when I also got those Halo Heroes figures, so that was a few weeks ago, but I completely forgot to review this, but... Alas, here it is, and it looks really, really great. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, it is a very tall drop pod. You can kind of see the propeller on the top. So, uh, yeah, we do get one figure, which is this cool ODST. So let's take a look at him first. So, guys, here is the ODST that you get in the set. And he does match the drop pod that he comes with because he does have this really cool orange, silver, and, like, a kind of shinyish blue color along with some kind of gunmetal uh, used underneath or some black or whatever and he looks really really great he comes with this really cool assault rifle which is in orange and gunmetal let's just detach that from his hand a little bit and you can start to see the rest of this guy and he looks really nice he does have the little binocular scope or whatever that is on his head and I really like the design on his chest as well all of the drop pods have exclusive ODST that match the pod and this guy looks really nice uh, so, yeah, but he isn't really the main focus of this set. He is a great ODST figure, but let's actually look at the drop pod, and it is really, really cool. So, here is the drop pod. You do have to put it together. It looks like it's actually assembled in the package, but you actually kind of, uh, like, the pieces aren't really all attached to each other, so you do have to kind of assemble it. Uh, once you open it up in the package, there's also, like, a little bag that actually is inside of the drop pod. When I first got it and opened it up, I thought that I was missing pieces, but I was not. You just have to actually take off the door to the drop pod, and there's a little baggie with the rest of the parts. <laughs> But it looks really, really great. It's like this gunmetal color. You got the really nice door, which is really, really great looking. You got the windows right there and the silver paint detailing. My least favorite part about this is the fact that it has four studs on the back. And it doesn't look all that bad like this, but from the side, it looks like there's just a brick just protruding from the side. And I'm really not the biggest fan of it. You do have these little pieces, which are just there for detail, but they do look pretty cool. And you do have the little propeller up top here, and you can actually just push that down. Unfortunately, this piece does stick up, but you can kind of just drop that down, and that's pretty much what it would look like if it was just like in a hangar bay for display, or uh, if it hasn't been launched out yet. And then you just push it up, and then you can spin the propeller, and it's pretty cool. Now on the bottom, we have this really cool like red and orange design. I think it's supposed to represent... Uh, kind of when, because when drop pods are dropping down, they kind of create, like, the effect that an asteroid or a comet would have, where it, it kind of, like, ignites a bunch of flames and whatever. I think that that's just supposed to represent kind of a fire that you would see when it comes down like that. But this entire bottom section serves a different purpose, and this is a really, really cool feature. And it is that you can blow off the door, because drop pods, they just hit the ground, the door flies off, and then the ODST jumps out, and then they get into battle. So what you can just do, you can just take this, pick it up, and just slam it down, and the door flies off. This piece right here is just like a free-floating piece, and then that little clip pushes up on the door. Now, this feature doesn't really work that well on soft, like on like carpet or on your bed but if you're on a hard surface then it works really really well I will definitely say that and yeah you can pretty much just click the door in unfortunately there isn't really an easy way to get the door out without busting it off but you know that's the whole point of the drop pod pretty much now inside there you can see we have kind of what looks like a little bit of a seat that's just molded in. You can see some of the pegs that hold it together. And you do have a little peg right there that you can clip the minifig in. But it is very, very hard to actually, once you put them in there, it's really, really hard to get them out. So what I just do is I take the ODST, put the weapon on the back, and I just kind of drop him in. Like, he still looks pretty proper in there. And then when you actually use this feature, the ODST kind of kind of just falls forward so then you can just pop him out and deploy him right away and I think that that just adds to the play experience but I guess that if you're doing a stop motion you might want to actually peg the ODST on there but I did I did do that once and he was so stuck in there I literally had to take apart the entire drop pod just to get him out and that was very annoying but yeah overall really really great uh, play feature in my opinion and it's just really really fun to play with
So guys, there's my review on the ODST Drop Pod Operation Veritas Drop Pod. I think that this is a really, really cool set. It, I believe it was only like $15 or $10 or... Yeah, I think it was only $10. And if you can find these in the store and you don't have many other drop pods, this is really, really cool. Now, it isn't like Legos. You do have a ton of big pieces. Uh, the It took me probably like 10 minutes to put it together, and half that time was me trying to figure out where the other pieces were. But it's a very, very easy build. But it's not really about the build. It's about kind of the play experience. So if you're a fan of playing with these figures, that it's really, really cool. And I think that in terms of aesthetics, it is a bit more aesthetically pleasing than the original ones, even though the original ones had a bit of a better paint job. But overall, I think that this is a really, really cool set. I would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.